Hello, my name is Ajahn Naik and in this course, we will be going into the authorization part. This is a developer course for Fury, but I highly recommend for developers to learn about a little bit of authorization, which is something crucial when it comes to Fury application. We will see two sides of authorization. One is admin, one is user. Now, as you can see that user is something who is the end user, who is the customer, and admin is someone who configures the application suit or who is configuring the catalog groups and trying to transport and do customization configuration, seeing what is the problem with the system. But we will understand basically what are the specific roles and what are the authorization objects involving. If you try to create a user from scratch, then what are the authorization object, what are the authorization role which are present from where you can copy the particular user or role which should be provided to the user and from where you can start then what are one by one the authorization object which should be provided to this user so it becomes a system user for a particular fury app user and also if you want to promote this user to the admin role that might not be promotion but if imagine from a technical side if you want to do that then what are the additional roles we would be giving in terms of individual like scenarios which this user will be having access to or can do and what are the individual authorization object and how to do that and how to find your own way through if you are stuck with some place where you only have access to SU53 transaction and from there how can you understand about this authorization object and what are the sample template which is available to you all this we will cover in this particular section and I hope that you will have wonderful time learning about authorization concept in this course.